Roses are red, violets are blue. Let's do another cell activator comparison video in five, four, three, two, boom. And the definition is there on all of it. So happy to be talking to this amazing human being on the other side of the screen. And that is you, baby. Spoiler alert. American Floetrol just may blow your mind today, baby. 15,000 subbies. Thank you. That's right. In this episode today, we are taking our previous experiment and expanding it. So we did blooms with various cell activators, including household products, Elmer's glue, water. And now we're taking the same paints and we're going to try it with a swipe. And I must tell you that the end result, you're going to be surprised. Um, and this might change how you swipe and what you swipe with baby these are my colors okay i have three colors cobalt teal arteza's bordeaux red and quinacridone nickel azel gold three fan favorites all mixed three to one ratio you can see exactly how i mix my video <clears throat> how i mix my paints i can't give you everything in this video because baby it's free so just go watch <laughs> Anywho, Pillow Paint is PPG Multi Pro, uh, the white and pastel base. It retails at $17.98 where I live. Go get you some. It is perfect out of the can. All right, so we're going to take two of the cell activators and swipe them down the canvas to see how they hold up. We saw in the previous video how the blooms turned out. And so now we're putting our same cell activators to the test, okay? So for this first canvas, we're gonna be using our water, paint, and ink a concoction for our cell activator for one of the swipes. And then for the second cup, it is gonna be our glue, titanium white, and water recipe, okay? All right, I'm using my number three Fluid Art Co. Palette Knife. You can see I have been putting this baby to good use and it needs a good cleaning, um, but that will have to wait. <laughs> so on my bottom half, this is going to be the glue, water, and ink. Your recipe should be on the screen. It's also in the description as well. Now, there are a lot of factors that are going to play into your swipe, including your pressure. Um, but we just want to see um, if these recipes hold up. This isn't an end-all, be-all type of experiment, but it's really to help kickstart uh, your journey. And if you've been painting for a while, uh, this does some of the homework for you, looking for a alternative. And I'm just glad to be here and hanging out with you guys. So we're going to give this a, sw a swipe. I don't know why I feel this whole palette knife. All right, so let's move some of our paint down. Okay. All right, baby, here we go. Wow. 
what? Oh my gosh, y'all could not see the reaction as it happened on the screen. Wow, we. Look at the color blend. That is a paint gasm, baby. Wow. That is indeed a paint gasm. Look at the intricacies of our cells as they formulate. Now, I am intrigued by the reaction that we're getting up top. Um... They are bigger cells and they look kind of like lightning. And sometimes that's not a good look. Sometimes they end up breaking up. So we'll see what happens as we spin. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this other swipe. Okay. This is our glue, titanium white, and water. It's a little bit thicker. Here we go. All right. So we have a slower reaction, which slower is not always bad. Look at the gorgeous round cells that are popping up slowly but surely. Okay, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. So we're gonna let this um, develop. And you can see they're coming in nicely. And when we zoom out, you can see how they've nicely filled in. I love it, I mean, Every color change is shown in our swipe here. Now, I probably could have used a little more paint, and that's okay, but we're going to spin and tilt and do all that fun stuff. But look at the reaction. I'm loving both of them. I like the, the whole circle of the cells. So I like this reaction better, a little bit slower of a reaction. The um, cell activator is thicker. But these are both winners. So let's spin and see what happens. Do a little tilting. I'm gonna get some of that paint off of my canvas and make sure that it is all going to flow. And let's spin this back forward. Oh, these, this is absolute gorgeous. I'm going to try and pull some of that red off the bottom of my canvas back. Okay. Not really trying to make this a piece to buy. Not sure what I hit my canvas on. Put the bottom of my Stand here. Oh, 
Who would have thought this color palette would have been so pretty? Okay. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. So, it works for swipes. Works for swipes. That is just gorgeous. So I'm doing some more tilting here. Uh, sped it up just a little bit to conserve time. Um, but just look how everything is staying intact. Okay, so we got one more canvas to try. Both of these cell activators are absolute win they held as we stretched um we got a different reaction uh so that's something to kind of think about with your thickness um you may want the lightning look so maybe you need to go a little bit thinner like i said i'm hoping to inspire and birth you to try your own experiments all right so let's do canvas number two If you are wondering about my recipe, here is a link sharing my best recipe yet uh, for blooms. I use the bloom recipe for my swipes, although I have many other recipes. This happens to be my favorite. All right, so for our bottom swipe here, we're gonna be using the Flow and Paint. So this is American Flow Troll. Now remember, it didn't give us a whole lot of reaction on our bloom, so we may not get a lot of reaction like we did for the last, um, for the last canvas. Um, and then we have our Paint and Water left, we have our Oa Troll, and we have our um, Australian Flow Troll, so I need to kind of decide I'll think about that while I do this first swipe. Okay, here we go. Well, slow reaction is better than no reaction. <laughs> Cells are popping up slowly but surely, and they're nice and round. Just taking a little while. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, so ultimately, I decided to go with the uh, Australian Flow Trial just because the Oa Trial is going to give us a very similar reaction, and the paint and water should do very similar to the paint, water, and alcohol ink. Um, we just added ink to it. So let's just do the Australian flow trial so that we have um, a comparison, you know, a really good comparison and see. And we'll be on to our next experiment. All right, so about five minutes has passed and you can see the cells are popping up. But one thing I don't like, 
it's almost like a little white film came with the cell activator. It's really hard to describe, but it's like just making the cells really hard for them to pop through. Um, so. so, here we go. And that, my friends, is the Australian Flow Troll with two weird streaks in there. <laughs> Maybe we can play with that as we tilt. Yeah, it's just something about the Australian flow trawl and that reaction. You can see the sails just grew um, so wonderfully. And I love the little white streaks that happened on accident. This is cool, some blue mixed in with my cell activator and I love that. All right, so let's do a little tilting. Ooh, look at that. This is actually a pretty canvas. Composition back just a little. This will be a keeper. Okay, friends, just, just take a look. Just take a gander. <laughs> All right, what do we think? So, okay, listen. I might have to bite my tongue. That's gorgeous. Those big old cells, and as much I did horrible stretching. Like I really wasn't stretching so much for composition. I just wanted to show, you know, how much can we can stretch, how much we can spin this stuff. Um, we didn't even have to spin, but th those cells held their shape. So maybe, just maybe, I can use that um, American Flow Troll if it's gonna give me big juicy cells like this. I mean, y'all. That that's th those are those are pretty. Um, a lot of things are going through my head right now, uh, with more experimenting maybe to try. did a lot of tilting you can see we kept our white line I'm um, at the top our blue cells got really stretched out but it doesn't look bad um, we also stretched out all of our American flow trawl and the cells got really big but they're not wonky they're not wonky and that's a really good thing and y'all saw I did some extreme tilting if I was doing a comp um, if I was doing a a commission or you know this was a real piece I would never tilt to such extreme highs unless it's just a quick tilt to get the paint off the canvas um, so that that really um, that really has my brain just really flowing and there's our final piece I think I like it better this way hmm. Oh, I actually like it this way. It's kind of like a sunset. Yeah, I like it this way too. Okay, friends. So, y'all, I can sell these. 
I mean, the definition is there on all of it. It's all gorgeous, but you can see a difference in every single one. Um, there's just a difference in how the cells formed and their structure because these give lightning vibes, but it has that glow that I love. And then this is like just big, nice, juicy cells. And look how, um, just look how they form. They're not as round, they're more oblong, whereas our um australian floatron is more round they would have stayed round if i hadn't tilted so much and then look at our big round cells from our american floatron yeah i'm i'm really happy with this result and i'm hoping that you are loving these experiments all right beautiful people everything dried perfectly between all of our swipes this was such a great experiment for me and for you guys, but I'm just really, really taken aback. And you can see the difference in the reactions. Um, and maybe you like one more than the other. So maybe you should try that recipe. In this video coming up, this technique is so easy, a caveman could do it. I'll see you next time. Do everything with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. Peace.